You guys getting those chicken One, legs? Two, three, four. I can see the muscle growing already. <laughs> We're here at the Red Bulls facility to work on getting me some leg strength. We're here with Adam, strength and conditioning coach for the Red Bulls. So I'm curious, Adam, what would you do for sort of a pro level athlete to get him to focus on his legs, to get his power and strength up a little bit? We gotta focus on four things, power, strength, stability, mobility. We'll kind of go through that as I, as I take you through today. Okay. You'll be glad to know I don't have any of those things. <laughs> First off, we're gonna start with power. Power exercise, you can do this anywhere. Gym, at home, outside. Very simple, hands on hips, squat down, Chest back, jump up. Nobody looks cool doing that. Nobody looks cool doing it. How am I landing? Like in a squat? In a squat position, yes. Try to decelerate naturally. Good, not bad. This is as awkward. It's as uncomfortable as it looks. How many of these am I doing? You do three by five or so. Typically no more than five reps. Three sets, five reps. Then you'll transition from that into a Kind of open jump, so you're just jumping naturally. Act as if there's a hoop up there you want to dunk, right? So here, okay, okay, try it out. I like still did hands on hips. No hands on hips. Trying to jump as high as you can. <laughs> you're getting there. You're getting there. Good. Try to make the transition from here to here as fast as possible. There you go. Good, very good, Ooh, very good. So these are just helping with power development. So by doing the non counter movement jump, we're focusing on being able to accelerate from a stable position, okay? When you're doing a regular jump, it's yeah. basically, you're using a lot of stored energy. There's not much stored energy here. I'm trying to get that energy to work for you, rather than against you. You hear how out of breath I am from like six, <laughs> six jumps? So next thing will be, a split squat, okay? So now we're working on lower body strength. We're building more of the quads and the, hip and the, the glutes with this, this exercise. So I'm gonna step back, all right? I'm gonna tr try and drop my back knee straight down to the ground, chest up, okay? And then extend from that position, all right? We'll usually hit anywhere from three to four sets of this of six to eight reps. Okay. You, you're doing six to eight reps both legs? Correct. Good. I've always Tight. wondered when you're doing, like, where do you, where are you supposed to be looking at your chest? Straight ahead is fine. Yeah. Basically, want to keep a neutral head position. Good. Very good. So we'll do a lateral squat for uh, groin strength. Okay. So you start off pretty wide stance. Okay. Toes facing forward, and then you'll just. Sink to one side, keeping the opposite leg straight, okay? So you'll hit eight reps here, three sets of eight. So that's side. working inside Correct. here, okay. Correct. Um, you're more sitting back, right? Then. Correct. Good. Bring out, come out a little bit wider and then point that toes directly forward. Good. Try not to let this knee come up too far. Good. So hit eight to the left and eight to the right. This feels like one of those exercises that feels it's like small movements, but tomorrow morning when you wake right. up, it's gonna hurt like hell. <laughs> yeah. Good. So feeling like right here, right? That's Correct. And then a progression from this would be an actual lunge where you're stepping out each time and coming back. Give that Good. a try. So I'd step out and. Yep. Probably gonna keep that straight though. Right? Yep, exactly. Feel the difference? Yeah. A bit yeah. tougher. The next we'll do is the RDL. So this will combine strength and stability. So you can do this double leg or single leg. For to do it single leg, just because it'll it'll aid in the stability focus for guys. Okay? okay. If you can't do it single leg, start off double leg. Okay. Basically, we're just taking a bow with dumbbells. Okay. Sticking your your butt way out and chest up. Okay. Cool. So you'll hit 
anywhere from three, three to four sets of that at six to eight reps, okay? And then once you're good with this, you'll progress it to a single leg, okay? Yeah. Keeping legs straight. And what are you working there? Hip dominant hamstring. Okay. Okay. So it's, you're gonna feel this a lot in your glute and hamstring. Okay. You'll feel more of a stretch than anything. You'll feel it the next day and the following day. Yeah. Also. So this this is the movement that's gonna create a lot of soreness, if, especially if you're not used to doing it. Where am I holding these, like here? Just right down here, okay. right by your side. And think of, rather, that's a squat right there. That's mm -hmm. almost a deadlift, okay? Yeah. So you're gonna wanna hip hinge there. Good, just like you're taking a bow. Good. I've Much better. Long time. Good. <laughs> yeah, you can feel it. In the back of the hamstrings for sure. So try one leg here. Now you can try one leg. Yep, same thing, good. Straight leg, very good. Bring it back. And in between reps, you can bring, bring your feet back to, to a starting position, and then go again, and as, as a third progression, just stay on one foot the entire time. Okay. That's the real pro level shit right exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. Very good. And try the other side. You'll, no, you'll probably notice that one side is better than the other. Yeah. That's, that's natural. Hence why is this stability, right? Is this stability? Or is it this is. Still, okay. The stability and strength. So you're working on the strength of the hamstring, but you're also working on stability of the lower leg. All right. Good. Good. Now we're going to focus on knee flexion, which is the other focus of the hamstring. Okay. okay. So we'll start off here. If you don't have a roller like this, you can use a slide board or uh, a towel on a, uh, a slick floor, okay? So this is what we call the reverse leg curl. So I'll start off my driving my elbows into the ground, hips up, flexing my glute, okay? I'll roll out and roll back up using my hamstrings to do so, okay? Make sure your core is engaged, glutes are flexed, all right? Here we'll do typically three sets of eight or so. This is the glamorous lifestyle of being a, That's right. a, a top tier MLS player. So start off, hold on, start off down, okay? Mm -hmm. Good, driving your elbows down, really focus on it. Yep. Flex your core. Mm -hmm. Now bridge up, flex your glute. Now roll out, roll back in. Good. How many of these? Eight. And so this is working? Hamstring okay. and glute. I feel this one the most. Yes, especially if you haven't done it. This is a step up from a leg curl machine, and then going from this, we'd we like to do a lot of Nordics, leg, leg curls. Good, that's good. That was definitely eight. Oh, I got it, now I'm all ready right. to be a pro. That's <laughs> all, all you need, those four exercises. You can kick a free kick in the MLS, right? Well, almost, we're almost there, <laughs> we're almost there. So next thing we're gonna do is calf strength. We'll keep it basic, just a double leg calf raise, okay? But instead of just going up and down, bouncing, okay? You will pause at the top for two seconds and slowly lower down one, two, three, four. Pause again at the bottom for two and back up for four. One, huh. two, three, four. That, that works more in our uh, our tendons than it mm -hmm. does our actual muscles. So we'd like to oh, interesting. Uh, okay. utilize time under tension for calf strength. And it, it creates a lot more tension in the muscle. Uh, so it's not so much localized on, on your Achilles and everything. Yeah, because I think most people you see in the gym are just like, right. that's that's interesting that the slower you go, I mean, it makes sense, but the slower you go and the more it actually, time under tension that actually works hard. Right. Typically we'll hit about 12 reps, two to three sets of 12 reps. So let's give, give this a shot. shot. Hold it and one, two, three, four, good. One, two, three, four, good. It's a small range of motion, and it's hard to control over four seconds, but it definitely makes a difference. You guys getting those chicken legs? One, two, three, four. I can see the muscle growing already. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There's only room to grow. That's right. One, two, three, Skinny four. Skinny ass legs. 